Hey guys, welcome to Brick Bros Productions. I'm Matthew and I'm gonna be talking about the Modimo Spectrum ST4 that they sent us. So basically, it's a camera robot that can do program shots in live motion, time lapses, stop motion. I must warn you before we go ahead, this system is an investment. So if you're wanting to get into this sort of stuff, expect to be spending upwards of the thousands of dollars because this sort of system isn't really a beginner system. It's very advanced, but luckily for us with the SD4, it's very easy to use. So I'm just gonna talk about the features and what I like and what I didn't like about this product. Before we go any further, I really wanna thank Emotimo for sending us their product. So this product, as you can see here right behind me, is a four axis motion control system, so it can move side to side, tilt, pan, and I think the other axis is the focusing. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Don't quote me on that. As you can tell, I'm pretty green with this sort of stuff. I reached out to them actually. I found their uh, website on the Dragon Frame uh, list of compatible motion control systems. And I thought, hey, that looks like a really good system. I wanna reach out to them and see if they're interested in doing some sort of collaboration. And luckily enough for us, they were. And so they sent us this system to try out for a couple months. And I've been trying it on some client videos and uh, some personal projects as well. And I haven't gotten to use it a whole bunch, not as much as I'd like, but uh, the amount that I've gotten to use it, I really enjoy uh, using this system. It's very user, user friendly. And um, there are some things about it that I don't quite understand, but I think a lot of it has to do with my lack of knowledge with the, the motion control realm, I guess. So the system is powered via AC, so you can plug it in, but it also has a battery pack right here on the side, or a place to put a battery pack rather. Um, again, on their website, you can find uh, the battery specifics. Uh, we didn't use the battery, we just plugged it in because we're doing stop motion animation. So batteries are kind of a, a no-go for us. Uh, we like to do everything plugged in, uh, makes everything a little easier. So the awesome thing about this is that it has really good payload on it. So it can handle any kind of camera. We're actually just using a little Canon Rebel EOS SL1, which is like their smallest of the Rebel line, so it's like the smallest DSLR you can buy, which is kind of kind of ironic because this system can handle um, up to red cameras, I believe. You can check out their website for more specifics, but they've got weight covered pretty well on this. Another awesome thing is with this program, you can set up to nine individual keyframes. So if you're doing live video, you can have it set to one point, set to another point, set to another point, set to another point, and it will play through that and like smooth it out um, you can also play around with focus on this, so you don't have to completely rely on autofocus. If you have a manual focus lens, plug that in, nail the focus for each shot, and it'll move between um, all the shots and get the focus every time. So this product produces consistent shots every single time. So if you want to repeat a shot, let's say for VFX work, um, let's say you're going to film a shot with uh, one person doing different actions all over the same room, so it's kind of like a, to show that time has, you know, time is progressing. You can have this run back and forth, back and forth, same camera setup, and the, the actor can move from one point to the other point. Um, and you can get that kind of like cool ghosting effect. This also is great for special effects work. Uh, we're not, we don't do a whole lot of that, so I'm not the person to talk about that, but if that's something you're into, you can definitely look on the Emotimo website. Right now I've got it on the shark slider. And the shark slider is originally only two feet long, um, but this they sent us the extra two feet extension. So this is a four foot system right now. Normally it ends right there. So it's got that little uh, space if you're gonna buy the, I believe it's the ST4 running gun bundle. But for an extra $150, you get the extra two feet. And if I were to purchase this personally, I would definitely buy the extra two feet just because it allows you a lot more room to play with, uh, with your camera moves and all that kind of stuff. Um, one of my favorite features of this system is the interview ping pong system. So what you can do is you set a keyframe, your A keyframe, your B keyframe, perhaps even a few keyframes in between. So the camera's here and it moves there. With this camera, you can set a A point and a B point and a few points in between if you want. And it can just go back and forth, back and forth, film all day a remote, a very user-friendly remote. So this remote is a PlayStation 4 remote. And how does it work with this system? So you're just using the joysticks on this as if you were controlling like, let's say a camera in a video game. Uh, so one thing I love doing when I played 
uh, those like EA Sports games was going back into the replays and like playing around with like slow motion and watching the plays and like moving the camera around. So having this on a remote like this felt so natural to me. So when you're shooting live action with this, this is what you're actually gonna use to set the key points. If I wanna start right here as my first keyframe, and I would set it on the back of this, I'll show that in a little bit. And then I would just move it over to the side. And let's say this is my other keyframe. And I could set that. And then I can mess around with the settings and have it go back and forth or just do it once, do it really fast, do it really slow, speed ramp. There are a lot of options with this system. Um, yeah, so having this remote is super handy. So I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of how uh, we used it with Dragon Frame. Another big thing that you're gonna want with this system is either a sturdy table to put it on or two heavy duty tripods to hold it. So we got the Manfrotto 055, I think that's what it's called. It's a heavy duty tripod and it's strong enough to hold one end of this. Because this system is so heavy, you're gonna need the heavier duty tripods. So we're gonna take a look at how I integrated this into my workflow with some video and mostly stop motion animation actually. There's a stop motion feature uh, on the system head. So on the system head, the actual ST4 unit right here, that's this bulky head. This piece alone is over $2,000, I believe. It's the brain of the system. So um, when, if you're buying it or if you're gonna purchase it, uh, don't be alarmed that that's the most expensive part because the rest of it um, kind of all plugs into that one brain and that brain tells everything else what to do. And the main reason I looked into this was actually for Dragon Frame. This system has a stepper motor on it, which are, I believe one of the configurations you can buy is a stepper motor. Uh, so with a stepper motor, you can do high precision, tiny little incremental movements that are repeatable. So uh, when we plug it into Dragon Frame, the actual head has software to make it compatible with Dragon Frame. So once it's in Dragon Frame, you can bring it into the motion tab, which you'll find on the top right. Uh, there's like camera, and then camera settings, and audio, and then DMX lighting, and then the motion control. And then you, you get all this set up. They have some good videos on their website of how to set all this up with Dragon Frame. Once you have it all plugged in and all the, all the motors are recognized and such, you can actually control the entire system from Dragon Frame. So you won't even need this remote. They actually suggest not using this remote when it's plugged into Dragon Frame. So you can do tilting, panning, um, sliding, uh, focus control, all in Dragon Frame. So you can, um, you can basically create a very complex movement in stop motion animation. And the great feature of this system is actually that it has live view playback. I believe that's what it's called. Um, but on the Dragon Frame website, when they list compatible motion control softwares and uh, hardware, um, one of the things that they say is that, you know, this is not compatible with live view playback, or this is not compatible with live view preview, I believe it's called. Um, don't quote me on that. I'll have to look that up and I'll, I'll put it on the screen so it's the correct information. But um, basically what it allows you to do is make your little camera motion. Because it's stop motion animation, you're not actually gonna follow the puppet in live action view like that. It's gonna move picture by picture. So the, this, uh, the ST4 is gonna know picture by picture where to move and how much you know incremental movement to add to those shots and all that kind of stuff. Um, so I actually found the Dragon Frame interface a little cumbersome as compared to this remote. Well, this remote just makes it so easy. So anything a little bit more difficult than that is obviously gonna be more difficult, obviously. <laughs> yeah, I kind of found myself wishing I could have used the remote to program the shots and all that. And I actually emailed Emotimo and asked if there was a way to do this, to use this for stop motion, but not plug it into Dragon Frame which is kind of ironic because that's the whole reason I got it or asked to get it was to plug it into Dragon Frame. But I wanted to see if there was a way that if you say didn't own Dragon Frame but you wanted to purchase the system, if you could do uh, stop motion animation. And he said there is. There's actually a time lapse feature on this which allows you to plug this system into your camera. It'll take the pictures for it. You can do super complicated time lapses. We don't do many time lapses except for our behind the scenes stuff. So um, I'm not gonna talk on the time lapse features as much even though that's what this is I think most people that buy it mainly buy it for time lapses. If you use it in the time lapse feature, there's a feature where you're able to press X on the remote and move to the next um, stop. Press X on the remote and moves to the next stop. And if you keep pausing it with the X button, you're able to get those tiny little incremental movements. So if you want to take a picture on your camera, press X, move it ahead, press X again. Uh, it's a little bit more complicated, but I'm going to experiment a bit with it just to see how it works. So. Um, Live control on this system is 
super nice. There are a couple different features on the back of the Spectrum ST4. There's actually a tiny little LCD screen and it allows you to see what um, what's going on in the menu in this thing. And there's a lot of options to play around with. So I, I've still got to experiment with this. So if we go, if we press X on live motion, we get different presets. So they're called shark presets um, because it's the shark slider, I believe. So what you can do is you can go through these. There's quiet fast, quiet medium, quiet slow, time lapse, and fastest. So these are all for live action. So for fastest, you're able to hear the motors running because, because it can move so fast. But with, uh, if I go back to quiet fast, the motors are very silent. So I can move it along. When it's moving along here though, if you're moving it at fast speeds, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but there's like a bit of a, bit of a sound of it running across the slider. So if you're gonna do, a, let's say interview, and you're having this going ping pong back and forth, and say your movement is fairly slow, like let's go like this slow, you're not actually gonna be able to hear it. So if you have, an, if you have audio and you think audio is gonna be an issue, it won't be an issue at all because this system is very quiet. Yeah, again, I just wanna thank Emotimo for sending it to us and letting us play around with it. You can do a bunch of stuff handheld, you know, tripods, manual sliders, all that kind of stuff. It's great if you're starting out and I may go back to those things just for simplicity's sake, but if I am, you know, if I expect to get a little bit, you know, higher end work and I wanna work more with um, bigger companies, let's say doing commercials or professional stop motion animations, this sort of a system would be a must for me just because um, it allows you to get that repeatability with shots, that consistent look, um, and it takes a while to set up, but honestly, it's very worth it um, with all the uh, I guess the hassle of setting all the motors to different keyframes and all that sort of stuff. The keyframes in Dragon Frame, I found, uh, were a little confusing at times to work with, but that was mostly just because I wasn't able to comprehend that when you do this to a keyframe and you, let's say, put a little bezier on it and you move it somewhere else, it, it can like mess up the whole, the whole system that you had before. So that's just me, but um, keyframes are sometimes confusing to me. Uh, but yeah, with the system, repeatability, consistency, professionalism. It adds that professional look to your videos. And uh, let us know down in the comments if this is something you'd be interested in. I know that the price is a little out there for a lot of people. Even for me, it was like, I don't know if I can justify spending that. But honestly, for this system, uh, there are very few systems like this that are under $10,000. And that's one of their um, selling features, I guess, with Emotimo is that this entire system you can buy for around 4,000 US. Let us know down in the comments if this is something you'd like to see more of, maybe a little bit less tech review. And if this is something you're interested in, we actually have a code from Emotimo. Um, so we have the link down in the description. Yeah, go down to their website. You can order this bundle for 5% off. I just wanna offer a bit of a word of encouragement to anyone who is like, oh man, that's a lot of money. I don't think I'll ever be able to do motion in my videos. You can actually get a lot of motion in your stop motion animations um, with just the camera. So you don't actually even need a tripod. Um, you can find some pretty inexpensive tripods or like these things. These are uh, like Joby tripods. You can find a few cheap ones. I actually got that one for five bucks off Amazon. It's pretty terrible, but it gets the job done. So just like you move characters in a shot, frame by frame, little by little, you know, easing in, easing out, using the principles of animation, you can use your camera in the same way. So you can slide it a little to the left, uh, ease in, ease out, principles of animation, balancing, all that sort of stuff. You can do that with your camera as well. So I really encourage you guys to play around with motion in your stop motion animations and see what you can do uh, with that and your camera and uh, see how you can spice up your videos. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.